Hey all, Russ here over your TV. How you doing today? Well, the BLM Free Camping Series continues. We're traveling down Main Street here in Quartzsite. I'm going to make a left here and get on the freeway. I call it freeway. I mean, it's interstate. This is Interstate 10. We're going to be heading west. West of Quartzsite. Okay, I'm holding the camera on the dash. It's pretty windy out and I didn't want to roof mount it. I don't like traveling over 65, 70 miles an hour with a camera on top. Too expensive to lose. <laughs> so, but it's still pretty good footage. You can see I'm looking, this is looking straight through the windshield. on the left that's uh, Dome Rock Road we're heading west straight ahead we're gonna go over that mountain pass it's straight up here we're almost up to the Dome Rock Road exit which is exit number I always forget this one looks like 11 we're only 11 miles from uh, Colorado River and the California Arizona border Once you pass the edge of Dome Rock, these mountains here are part of the Crit Indian Reservation. This is Indian land right here. To the left is that dirt road, that gas pipeline. They run along the freeway and you can actually four wheel the whole way. Okay, we're getting near the bottom of the pass here. We're going to exit up here at the next road. The amount of traffic on this road is insane. It is truck city. Continuous flow. Alrighty, here we are. This is called Tom Wells Road. And we're westbound. This is uh, exit number five. Tom Wells Road. Okay, I'm going to go to the right here first. We're going to go on both sides of the interstate here, actually. This is actually a truck stop. they got a subway here. A little mini store. A lot of truck stop here. They can get fuel cheaper before they go over to California. We're so close to the state line. They save a bundle here. Okay, we're going to go around this back road here. Okay, right around the back side of this, there's a dirt road we're going to take and head out into the desert. And it's also called Tom Wells Road. I'm also going to roof mount this camera so you can get a better view. I'm going to pull off up here. Okay, here's a little ground view. Tom Wells Road. It runs on both sides of the interstate. We're going to be on the north side just for now. I've come out here a dozen times. This is where I take sunset photos and time lapse. You get great views out here over uh, overlooking the Colorado River. Well, I should say the Colorado River Basin. River is still another four or five miles from here. It's a rough road. A lot of washes you drive through. They do keep it open. I believe this is a county road still. RVs come out here and boondock. We'll get up top here. Real steep climb, but I always see rigs. I see big rigs up here too. Big motorhomes, vans, trailers, all kinds of stuff. I'm pretty sure this is BLM, not positive. There's a van there on the left hand side. You've got a solar out. He's camping. Let's go down a ways and I'll launch a copter. This is just an old chunk of the old road. Very rough. 
all these are real rough. It says pavement and the road is closed up here. Ready, let me get turned around. You can keep going if you have a four wheeler. This van sure isn't. <laughs> I'm just going to go back up to the top of this grade here and then I'll launch a drone. Alright, this looks good as any. Let me get parked. Get the copter out. See what's up in the air. Alrighty, this is a voiceover. I am editing this video in my trailer. So let's take a look, see what we got. There's a look back down. That's just the road we came in. There's that van way off in the distance. And you can see they camp along in here in the flat areas. There's not a lot of flat areas to camp in. On the other side of the interstate, there's a huge area. That's BLM. We'll go over there next. We can see there's the interstate and there's the mountains. You can see all the dirt trails for four-wheeling. And there's that road close sign down there at the bottom. I'm at about 175 feet flying, and here's a look at the old man doing it. This is all free, very free to camp in. I'm traveling down to the other end. We'll fly the drone from closer to uh, Ehrenberg. Okay, that was a good view. Get back on this little road. I'm not sure the name of this road. Had to Google map it. You can see how rough it is, man. It just beats you. Right there to the left, that's where we came in. That's Tom Wells Road. I'm gonna head down here about a half mile, pull off, and then I'll fly the drone again. You can see a couple trailers way off in the distance. All right, let me get pulled off here. Up we go. All right, now that's looking back at that truck stop, gas station in the interstate. That's looking off to where we were up towards the mountains in that van that was parked. This is all BLM. Okay, now this is looking back down towards Ehrenberg. If you keep going on this road, it'll take you down to Ehrenberg. I see a trailer way out there. And here's a look down to where I am. Flying at about 140 feet. All right, I'm gonna get landed. Then we'll head on over to the other side of the Interstate 10. All right, good look at that area. As rough as this road is, you kind of have to stay. I mean, there's not a lot of pull-offs. There are short, flat areas along this road. Anyway, let's go back over. We're going to go through the truck stop. Make it right here. This is getting back on that Tom Wells Road. It's a dirt road. Get up in the truck stop, and then we're going to cross the freeway. It's mid-afternoon, so the sun's not quite going down yet. But if you got a van or a small trailer, back in there is perfect. Now the other side, you can get a motorhome and stuff in there a lot better. Bigger trailers, fifth wheels. All right, let me give you a two-cent tour of the <laughs> truck stop. I'm going to drive through this, this flip around, flip a Yui. 
They got everything here, gas, diesel. A lot of trucks park here. Like I said before, it's the last fill up before they cross over to Ehrenberg. Well, I guess there's that flying J down the road, but. Okay, let's cross the freeway. Cell phone reception out here is five bars. There's a big, actually there's two cell towers right behind the truck stop. This is exit five and it's the Tom Wells Road exit. Okay, now on this side, I've been over here often. I've never spent the night here. But this is all BLM and it is free camping. And you can see there's motorhomes to the left. In January, this place fills up big time. And we're only like uh, 12 miles from Quartzsite. Not too far. A lot of people stay over there and just travel in during the day to go see the shows. And the four-wheeling here is huge. You can go way out there in four-wheelers. Go down a river. All kinds of things. Hey, let me get parked. Be right back. All right, here's a ground view. There's the van. Look at all them rock piles. Someone put, look at all those tin cans. Those are rusted out tin cans there. <laughs> Who knows what from. Them are old. But over there, that's a truck stop. Interstate. Dirt roads going out. and See the cell towers way out there? You will get freeway noise here to all the trucks, but you get used to it. And look at all the rocks. Look at that chunk of quartz there. You know what goes with quartz? Gold. <laughs> Probably good metal detecting here. Time to launch a drone. Up we go. That's looking straight off. There's that would be Blythe, right towards Blythe, and Ehrenberg. There's the gas station truck stop. Continuous flow of traffic, and there's the interchange. That was the exit five that we took, Tom Wells Road. And this is all BLM land. There's a motorhome down there. Another one out a little farther and way out. There's another one. I see rigs farther out, too. You can get out there quite a ways. Check out all the dirt roads. I mean, if you're into four-wheeling, motor, motocross, whatever, this is it. Absolutely breathtaking sunsets here when they got clouds. I have filmed here many, many times. It's one of my favorite little places to take pictures. All right, looking straight down at me. Right here I was flying about 160 feet. And once again, when you look back up, this is looking to the east. Right over the mountains is Dome Rock Road and Quartzsite, 12 miles. Alrighty, well that's a look at Tom Wells Road, BLM land, free, free, free camping. Can't beat free. There's no host that I know of that sets up out here. But you'll see dozens and dozens of rigs, especially after uh, Christmas. 
January, February, this place gets full. All these roads are rough, just go slow, but they're very passable. You don't need four wheel for this. As we get farther and farther away from Quartzsite with the BLM lands, the free camping, we'll start tracking mileage. Now, part of the BLM rule is air miles, not driving miles. But I will keep track of like exit five to Quartzsite is 12 miles. We'll get it figured out. I'll show more campgrounds that are farther out of Quartzsite, all BLM, free camping. The series will continue. All right, this is Russ. I'm going to sign off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk to you real soon. Take care.